Is your Google Ads account running and maybe it's getting a few clicks, a few impressions, but no conversions? Well, if that's you, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step seven proven ways to start getting conversions inside your Google Ads account. Now, just so we're on the same page, what is a conversion? And for us, a conversion is a action taken by the end user. So when someone interacts with your ad, you want them to do something. So it's either call you, email you, buy from you something to actually get them from from the ad to whatever you want them to do. That's a conversion and a conversion action is set up to create and track whatever you want that individual to do. So for this video, I'm just going to simplify it by saying a conversion is an online sale, a phone call or an email lead. Now here are the seven solutions to help start getting conversions inside your account and really transferring those clicks and impressions into something tangible so you can actually have account success. For our first solution, this is something really overlooked by a lot of people brand new to Google ads. And it's simply do you have the budget set correctly? And two, do you have either the maximum bid limit set correctly, the target CPA set correctly, target ROIS set correctly? One of these things can really impact how many conversions you're actually getting. So if you don't set this high enough, chances are you're not going to see any conversions whatsoever. There's a lot of accounts I look at where the target CPA is one fifth or one tenth of where it should be. And you're just not going to see any conversions whatsoever. Google ads may get a couple clicks here and there, a few impressions, but you're just not going to see conversions because Google has been told that, hey, we want these leads for, let's say, $5. And Google understands that we can only get leads for $50. And you've told Google, hey, do not run ads unless we can get it for $5. Google's going to try and nitpick and try and find some impressions and some clicks. However, if it's not going to viably produce leads, it's not going to really run. So make sure your budget is set properly. I'm going to come into our account here. I'm going to go over here to the actual uh, let's do pool installation campaign here. Let's see what it's set as. Okay, our budget is $75 a day. This could be good. What I would recommend doing is following one of our tutorials, at least the little bit in the first half of it where it shows you actually how to determine a budget. Uh, this is really important. You go inside your keyword planner, you look at the actual high range and low range of the actual bids of the keywords you actually want to go after. So this will allow you to determine what a good budget is. If you don't have a high enough budget, you may want to consider only running a few days a week. So even if you're only running you know, Tuesday till Friday, instead of running the entire week, as long as you can concentrate that budget and really get Google's AI, the ability to run and see results, your chances are you'll be in a really good spot. The next thing here is the actual bidding. So as we can see, maximize conversions is set to $50. This could be good for some campaigns, this could be bad for some campaigns. And again, this goes for maximize clicks as well. If you set your maximum cost per click bid limit too low, you're going to have a lot of issues and your account is not going to run properly. So please make sure you understand your conversion rate, you understand that, hey, if I have five clicks, and out of five clicks, I'm going to get one conversion, and that's going to cost me X amount of dollars. This is what my target CPA should be. That's a very good way of going about setting your target CPA for good results. Again, even if your target CPA is let's say $50 and Google is even recommending $50, I would put it above probably $55, $60, just so it gives Google's AI a little room to run and allow it to optimize. You're going to see much better results that way. All right, the next solution we have for getting more conversions into our account is picking the right keywords. And if you don't have the right keywords in your account, your life is going to be miserable because if you have broad match where you should have exact match or you have exact match where you should have broad match there is going to be so many things wrong in your side your account that you're just going to be trying to fiddle with everything else and realistically you only have to touch those two things a lot of times people overcomplicate google ads and they think like hey well like there's all these other options there's so many things to do inside this account and really a lot of google ads comes down just to getting the basics correct uh yeah there are a lot of other things you can do inside google ads but if you have improper keywords and let's go over here to keywords just to show you here as you can see, all of these are set into the exact match type. This is the most stringent type you can get. It's going to be very concentrated on these exact keywords. Are you still going to get keywords you don't want? Absolutely. However, this is going to be this is going to cut down a lot of the bad keywords where I see a lot of people using broad match and it just targets literally everything and you're going to waste a whole bunch of money and you're going to be going after keywords like HVAC DIY or HVAC companies hiring near me or fencing companies hiring near me. And a lot of people like think I'm joking when I say that that is a keyword we see regularly just because one, it hasn't been added to the negatives and two, they're using broad match. So please make sure your match type is set up correctly. Uh, this can save you a ton of money and allow you to start getting a lot more conversions inside your account. And the second thing too, with the actual match types is if you're targeting keywords that don't have high buying intent. So you're just targeting HVAC instead of HVAC company or HVAC company services near me or 
HVAC installation, stuff that actually shows your customer wants to buy from you. This is really going to be detrimental to your account, especially for a service-based business, because you're just not going to be targeting people who are actually interested in purchasing your services. You're just going to be going after a vague term like HVAC, which can imply a million different things. And you're just going to have a much lower conversion rate and more than likely uh, lower quality leads and a higher cost per conversion. So please take this into consideration when actually going through and creating these keywords. Go after high buying intent keywords. Our keyword planner video is awesome for this. And I'll walk you through how to actually find high converting high buying intent keywords. So watch that video if you're curious on how to actually find good keywords inside your account. The next thing is not having any extensions. And I go into so many accounts and they'll have like one extension. They'll have a call extension and maybe they'll have maybe a call out extension, something like that, or maybe a structured snippet extension. It's usually like one to three extensions and you have the ability to have so many different extensions inside your account. You can have site links, call outs, structured snippet extensions, call extensions, location extensions. And people will use one or two and then their ads aren't really shown. They have a low click through rate and they're like, why is my account not doing well? Why am I not getting any conversions? And it's like, well, your ad isn't big enough to be seen for starters. Google doesn't normally favor ads that don't have extensions. They'll normally favor an ad that has a whole bunch of stuff behind it because then they can A-B test it. And chances are, if they have a whole bunch of stuff to A-B test with, they'll be much more likely to actually show your ad because they're like, hey, we can play with all this stuff as opposed to just one ad. And if that ad doesn't work, uh, we're just not going to show it. So make sure to have all your extensions in place and make sure that they're actually relevant to the actual end user. So very, very important. Have all your extensions. Make sure you have your site links, call out structured snippet extensions, call extensions, location extensions. This will impact your account dramatically and will allow you to get a lot more conversions and normally a, a lower cost per click as well. All right. The next thing is the actual message match. And I'm going to come over here to ads and let's scroll down here and we'll go into fiberglass pool installation. Let's see if we have any. So as you can see here, message match, I'm going to just kind of easily I'm just going to sum this up is the actual match between your ad keyword and landing page. You want this match to be as closely related as possible, because if it's more closely related, Google's going to look at that and go, OK, this ad is relevant to this customer after they typed in this specific keyword. So say they typed in fiberglass pools our ad pops up and it says fiberglass pool installation. We send them to a landing page that says fiberglass pool installation, get a quote now. All of this has a very close message match. And the closer we can make this message match, the higher our quality score is going to be more than likely. Uh, not always, but the vast majority of the time, our quality score is going to be much higher, allow us to get much lower cost per click, allow our ads to be shown more, more impressions, more clicks, more account success. This is very important. What a lot of companies do is they just target a whole bunch of keywords, they'll put it in broad match, they'll have one ad that just says, you know, HVAC or pools or something very vague, and they'll just send them to a website that says something very vague, like pools or you know pool services it doesn't really go into detail about the customer's problem and really google looks for relevancy the more relevant you can make your ad keyword and landing page the more likely your customer is going to click on it the more likely google is to show your ad and the more likely you are to get much better results and many more conversions so please make sure your ads are relevant your keywords are relevant and your landing pages are all relevant to each other before launching a campaign all right, the fifth reason you may not be getting conversions is there's something wrong with your ads or landing pages or keywords. And I see this very often. If you look at my screen here, it says not eligible because our campaign is paused. What I see a lot of people actually doing is they'll contact us, we'll do an audit and they'll have one issue. It'll be like, oh yeah, your status is limited because of X, Y, and Z. Uh, you have a word in there that's you know completely capitalized or maybe the landing page isn't working or something like that. People overlook these statuses and they're super important. This will completely kill your campaign if you have a status warning, especially if it impacts multiple ads or the landing page you're running traffic to or the extension or the keywords. Like there's a lot of things that will be paused and just not eligible to run, which would cause you to get either very few impressions and clicks or absolutely none. And the same goes with conversions. You're just not going to see any conversions because your ads aren't running because there's a status warning. So please go in, make sure there's no status here. It says eligible. Your ads are good to run. Same with the keywords, same with your landing pages. Make sure there are no status warnings inside your account. This will absolutely affect your campaign if there are status warnings. So 
that's a big one for why you're not seeing any conversions inside your account. Next reason number six for why you may not be seeing any conversions is your landing page is just set up incorrectly or it's just bad and people when they go to it, they just don't want to actually submit their information or call you or whatever it is. Landing pages need to be very simple. They need to be easy to use. They need to get to the point very quickly. If you go on a long tangent and don't give any calls to action whatsoever, people are going to leave and they're going to find a new ad and you've just wasted a whole bunch of money putting someone to a landing page or a website that they just don't care about and you're now out of money. So please make sure to actually create a landing page that is simplified. It's easy to use. There's a distinct call to action. There's either one or two calls to action. So either a lead collection, so email form or an action to actually call your business. So a phone number or an email lead. That's really all you want for service based businesses. If you're running e commerce, again, that's a little outside our realm, but it would be a buy now button or, you know, collecting an email form, something like that, very similar. So please make sure when you design a landing page, it is simple to the point, easy to read. Don't use a whole bunch of crazy colors that hurts the eyes. It's going to cause cognitive overload. People are going to get stressed out. They're going to leave your website easy, simplified, and just gets to the point. That's what you want in a landing page. Also add in social proof that helps a lot of the time. And again, making sure that the landing page is relevant to the customer's problem. Don't send them to a basic HVAC page when they ask specifically about AC repair or something like that. Make sure it is very relevant to their problem. If it is not relevant at all to their problem, they're going to leave. You're not going to see any conversions. So that could be another big reason why you're not seeing any conversions inside your account. All right. And the last reason you could potentially not be seeing any conversions inside your account whatsoever. And I see that's very commonly. And it's probably, I would say the most common reason why you would not see any conversions in the account, which is bad conversion tracking and conversion tracking can go one of three ways. One, it's set up correctly, which is not normally the case. Two, it's counting things uh, multiple times. So someone could have a conversion three times or four times if just one person called, which is not good uh, because it gives a false impression of actually what's going on in the account. And the third thing that can happen is it's set up so improperly, it's not counting anything. So what you need to do is figure out how to actually set up your conversion tracking properly. We have a couple videos on our channel about conversion tracking, but the conversion tracking is just so there's so much stuff about conversion tracking. If I made a video about all the different conversion tracking stuff, it would be like 40 hours long. So if you have a specific conversion tracking issue like email leads or phone calls, definitely just type it that into YouTube. I guarantee there will be a conversion tracking video come up and we'll show you actually how to implement your conversion tracking. For most accounts, I would just recommend using two basic conversion tracking actions. One is the actual collection of emails. So if you want to collect emails for a service based business, that's great. And the second one is phone call tracking. So I would use those two types of tracking and that should be enough for most service based business says you don't want to really step outside that realm because you're going to overcomplicate things and it's just going to make your life a real pain. So those are seven ways to actually solve no conversions inside your account. If you're looking to actually optimize your account and maybe your account is running well, check out our Google ads optimization checklist. I'll leave it down below and it's really awesome. It runs you through every single thing you need to do inside your account every week, month and three months. And then you can actually put your results down here as well. And it just walks you through everything you should be doing inside your Google ads account. Uh, for best results. So if you have any comments, questions or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you on that. You guys have a wonderful day and take care.